Take a look at these AI drawings and upscaling results. Curious how they were made. It's from Crea AI, a powerful tool that combines the best features of Midjourney and Luma Labs. It not only generates images and videos from prompts, but also allows us to customize it a lot more. Plus, with Crea's upscaling and enhancing features, you can transform your images into high-quality, detailed illustrations. So let's start exploring those. And here we are on Crea's interface. Let's start with its very first real-time or text-to-image feature. Um, what's this? The prompt says, a Haida longhouse in Canada, poles linked with spirits. Crea has generated two shapes, a purple circle and a blue square. Watch what happens when we move them. The image changes dynamically. That's pretty cool. The details Crea produces are impressive. Oh, looks like it's asking us to sign up now. Let's quickly log in. All right, we're back. Now, by moving these shapes, we can adjust the lighting and details of the image. Let's try entering a prompt on our own. Oh wait, it gives us random prompts. Yeah, this one seems interesting. It says, Mountain Monastery, Monks with Elemental Auras, Echoing Serene and Powerful Anime Visuals. Let's go with it. We can also generate a related image to enhance the effect. See how this cave gets more detailed with brighter effects. Let's take it a step further by adding some objects. I'm adding this blue rectangle, and look at that. It brings lightning into the sky. That's pretty cool. Let's try this triangle now. We can even change its color, so I'm going with a reddish-orange to match the monks. Wow, that turned out way better than I expected. Just look at the details the rocky mountain, the illuminated cottages in the background, and this monk holding fire, along with his two friends. And check this out guys, Kriya offers us different styles to choose from for our image. Each one brings more depth and detail, especially this anime style. It looks like it's straight out of a Japanese animation film. The AI tool has a random effect option that automatically picks the best matching effect for our image. These effects tweak the image based on the prompt and the shapes we've added, making everything look even more natural. Check out the lighting and those mountains in the background, it's really stunning. Now, look at this last effect. It's so cool. What if I try drawing something like a stickman here on the path? Okay, so my drawing isn't the best, and it seems like Kriya didn't fully understand it. But it did make some changes, like the giant's eyes now looking downwards. Let me erase that, and instead of playing with objects, let's try drawing something from scratch. I would like to draw a happy spring scenery, with all this grass, the sky, and these some cherry blossom trees. Now, let's add some details, clouds, the sun, and why not a stickman here too? Let's see what Kriya comes up with. And there we have got this. Terraced rice fields, painting verdant stairways to heaven. The image is incredibly detailed, just look at those rice fields and the cherry blossom trees. But it seems like Kriya still doesn't quite get my stickman. Overall, though, the image turned out beautifully. Let's experiment with this image in different styles. As you can see, each image here shows off a slight difference between all these colors and vibes. And the best thing I'm noticing about Kriya is its random style option. It's incredibly helpful, especially since many other tools don't offer nearly as much variety and are limited to just a few styles. Now, let's try the last transformation option. It seems like my cherry blossoms got left behind. No worries, I'll enter my own prompt instead. A heroic warrior in medieval armor, standing in a battle-ready pose. And there we have got the results, which are quite boring. Where are my background details? I decided to switch up the styles, and now we have a background with stunning mountainous details. As I explore more styles, I'm noticing his fellow warriors in armor appear alongside him. Quite cool. The level of detail Kriya provides is quickly becoming my favorite feature. It's even capturing tiny dust particles, really nailing that war-like atmosphere. Switching to another style, We've got this impressive warrior with a striking, handsome face card. Not bad at all. Changing more styles, 
And we got this amazing warrior with a handsome face card. Seems well. Now, let's talk about Kriya's special feature, upscaling, which enhances images without losing quality. You can click on the quick enhance button below to add more details to your image like this. The same feature is available on its interface too, in which you can upload any image from your gallery and enhance it further. I'm going to upload this monk image I generated earlier and see how much more detail Kriya can add. Click on the enhance button and wait a moment for the results. And whoa, now as you're looking at the difference, the mountains got some more cracks on those rocks, giving a much more natural effect, and it also adds some more realistic expressions on the monks' faces. It has also added more detail to their clothing and hair, and the image quality is also improved. You can try the same feature with many of your low-quality images, adding more details and life to the images. Next, I'm testing out the text-to-video generation feature in which we can generate videos of a sufficient length. I have heard that Kriya is good at generating transition videos. Let's try and check out. I am entering the prompt for the first clip, which is, scene of mountains where clouds are moving. And in the second clip, I entered, sun setting. At first, I was a bit confused and thought it might not be able to generate a video without a main character. So, I removed the keyframes and clicked the generate button, but it gave me an error saying a keyframe was necessary. To fix this, I added our cherry blossom image as a keyframe and hit generate again. The video it produced didn't fully meet my expectations, but I can see how this feature could be useful, especially if you want to create a transition video or something for TikTok using your own clips. Now, finally exploring its bonus features, among which the first one is Logo Illusions. You can choose from various logos, I'm selecting this Apple one. After clicking Generate, check out the results. These images look almost real, like an actual tree carved into an apple shape. Next up is the AI Patterns feature, where Kriya generates unique patterns based on the prompt you give it. I selected a zigzag pattern and entered a random prompt. After clicking Generate, we got some pretty illusionistic results. Honestly, my opinion about this tool is that it was pretty good and full of surprises for me. I loved its random styles and, specifically, the illustration feature. I have to say, the video feature left me a bit disappointed. It wasn't generating smooth videos, just transitions. Now, let's talk about pricing. Kriya AI is very affordable. The basic plan costs just $10 per month, giving you access to 36,000 real-time image generations. That's quite a generous offering, and I can see myself investing in this plan in the future. For those with different needs, Kriya AI has flexible plans at $35 and $50, making it accessible for both individual creators and businesses alike. And it's not just me. Kriya has been receiving thousands of positive reviews. Users are praising its efficiency in utilizing LCM and upscaling details. Many have said they don't regret purchasing this amazing tool. The good news is that Kriya AI is rolling out new features soon, including high-quality scene presets in its real-time feature. If you'd like me to review those in the next video, let me know in the comments. And for a detailed tutorial on the latest AI video generator, check out this video next.